In this video, I'll be covering the basics of creating a Discord server, and I'll be sharing some insights as to how to make it look professional and dope. So you can be the coolest stuff of the coolest of, of the cool. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. The first thing we need to do is create a server, right? 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 And to do that, we need an account. And I'm not gonna teach you how to create one, because if you don't, I mean, I don't know. All right, the server. Click that little plus icon that says add server and then create server. You gotta give it a dope ass name like The Sleuth Sisters or The Batch Boys. This uh, clearly says Bach Boys. No, it's Batch, you know, like the beginning of Bachelor. I've been working on this for 10 years, don't ruin it! A cool trick with the server icon is that you can make the image with the background the same color as the Discord interface so that it looks like a transparent floating image thing. I don't know. It's just a suggestion, it's your server. That unless you're one of the psychopaths that use the light mode. Oh, 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 my eyes! My eyes! My eyes! Alright, so by default it gives you a text and a voice channel. And since the server layout is very subjective and highly depends on the topic of your server, we're not gonna go too deep into that. We're just gonna go with some basics. And don't worry about inviting people just yet. Believe me, when people come into a small server and everything is trashy looking, like for example, your room, they're just gonna get the F out without saying a word. All right, back to it. Each of these channels will have a specific purpose that is just basic on a community server. And we start off with rules. Here you will list the guidelines as to how to behave in your server, including things like no profanity or by entering the server, you agree to give us your soul, etc. New members. This will be where all the members that join your server are given their first welcome message. Although I do recommend you to personally greet every new member while your server is still small. Role info. After you've set up a few roles and you've come up with a few perks for each role, you can list them in this channel so the members know what benefit they're getting by obtaining a certain role. Bruh. Boosters. This is totally optional, but it's nice to have a list of all the server boosters, especially since it has this nice ass animation. Self-assigned roles. A community functions well when you don't need one person to do everything. Therefore, it is a good practice to have self-assignable roles. You can use it for things such as allowing the members to change the color of their name, etc. A setup video for self-assignable roles is linked in the description. Watch it after this one. Don't move your butt. Announcements. It's good that you let your members know of any major changes in your server, so you can use this channel for that purpose. Please, please do not use at everyone or at here. People hate those, or at least I do. I will suggest you to make a role specifically for notifications and also allow your members to assign it to themselves so only the people that are interested in being pinged can get it. I show how this is done in my self-assignable role video. Guess, guess where it is? In the description. <laughs> yeah, boy. General chat. No need to explain. Just a place where people are going to be chatting about whatever. General voice. Same thing for this one, but just with a microphone. Music. In your server, you can add bots that will play music in the voice channels, so some of your members can just chill listening to their favorite music, and this gives them another reason to stick around. Bot commands. Bots are gonna be so damn helpful on your server. And to avoid people spamming your main chat throwing out bot commands and stuff, it's good for you to give it its own separate channel. Server commands. As the owner and administrator of the server, you will be testing a lot of stuff out all the time and you're not gonna fill your main chat with all this nonsense. So I recommend you to have this as a private channel that only you can see. So you can throw all those trash commands in it without bothering anyone. That's it for the basic channels. This layout will give your server a solid foundation to work your way up from. And now you might want to start getting people in the server, which I still don't recommend. Watch the other videos in the playlist and then move on to inviting new members. Believe me, it's going to save you a lot of headaches with like raids and stuff. But, but, I understand if you're impatient and just want to go for it anyway. You just need to keep in mind the following. Think of your server as like a house party. It's just lame if the party is only you. So if you don't have any friends that are familiar enough with Discord to come and join your server, I would recommend you to do one of these two options. The first one is to spend some time in someone else's server. Make some friends and then invite them over to your server for a more private conversation. Or two, just plain fake it. Make at least two more users and just have conversations by yourself in the main chat from time to time. It sounds lame, but it actually works. When someone joins a new server, they need to see recent activity in the chat or otherwise they'll just think the server is dead. 
Me personally, as soon as I come into a new server and I see that the last message in general has dates on it instead of today, I don't even give it a chance. I just get out because it means that the people in the server are just not active enough. So keep that in mind. And before we move on to the next module, please hit the subscribe button and help me out. That concludes the creating a server and channel setup module in this masterclass. So if you have any suggestions that might help others, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And stick around for the next video in this course, which will show up on your screen right about now.